Hey guys, this is Slice of Life Gaming, I'm Fraser, and we're going to get right back into Dino Crisis Part 2. Uplifting audio, as always. <laughs> this can... Fuck that up even though. This game continues scenes of explicit violence and gore. That's why I'm playing it. Oh, the unskippable, unskippable cutscenes. I just realized something after editing the last episode. This Virgin Interactive, is this the reason why we don't have a remake? Do they hold some sort of license on this? The Capcom's like, I ain't paying you nothing, Branson. God, I got that loud. <laughs> okay, we'll hopefully get a good like 50 minutes of gameplay out of this episode. Because I re realized last time it was pretty low. Okay, so I just got the two key cards. Um, so we're going to do that first. I need to... I love her a little. I'm waiting. Um, so I am there in the save room. I need to go. I need to go out one of these doors. And which one is it? Is it the one I'm about? To, it might be the one I'm about to go out. Of. We'll find out. Hopefully not into a monster. Shit. Run, 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 run. I thought I killed him. I did kill him last episode. It's weird. Alright. Upstairs. <sighs> Gonna get this kicked off. With a the boom. Cause you all know what's coming. If you played this game, you all know what's coming. If you haven't played this game, one of the best scenes in PlayStation history is about to happen. And I hopefully don't die. There's a high possibility of me dying here. Is he still dead? He's still dead. Okay. A commemorative medal is displayed here. There are two slots in the frame where panel keys can be inserted. Okay. Uh. There we go. Which slot? Uh, left, I guess. I don't think it really matters, does it? Oh. Obviously, the other one. Panel key has been set. There is a panel here that accepts a numeric code. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have a code yet. And if I do, I've forgotten it. So, we'll, we'll just... You take back the two panel keys. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to wait for this scene. Damn. Ugh, it still happens. I knew it was coming, but I thought because I hadn't taken anything, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I have no ammo. I can't remember if I'm supposed to make a run for it. Okay, yeah, I probably was supposed to make a run for it. So cool though to see that, isn't it? Super cool. Um, no, uh, I'm just going to reload my file. Thank you very much. Yes. Don't, don't have goals at me. I use a safe state. You got to see it. And an un and a surprised reaction. So, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to go down and see 
my guys. I just knew you were waiting to see that. That's all you wanted to see. Gave you what you wanted. Um, so yeah. We'll go the way I'm supposed to go. Because I don't have that code yet. So we'll come back. I can't remember what's in that safe. I remember most times that I get to that sequence, I have a grenade launcher by then. Um, okay, so I am in here. Need to go around again. Okay. I have this. Oh, I have to change ammo. I have literally no weapons. I just went through the wrong freaking door as well. Oh. I have no ammo. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I've definitely not been playing this careful. I've run past this guy. Oh, hi! <laughs> okay, where am I now? So I just came through that door there. Am I going the wrong way completely? What's going on? This is why this map always confused me. Because now I'm like, where the fuck am I? If I went out there... Okay, I'm gonna trust the map here. God, I've wasted 10 minutes of your time. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. No, okay, not yet. I'm waiting for it. Hopefully you're some bullets I can grab. Please be bullets. No! Ugh, fine. Gonna have to start mixing stuff, I guess. Turn the backup generator on. Take that. Yes. Thank you for the plug. Fully charged. No, I need to enter this one first. Red, blue, green, white again.
Hell yeah. yeah. So, do we have power yet? We're in the green, thanks to you. Look, I need you to come back here. There's something I have to talk to you about. I don't know. If you're confessing your love for me, I don't think we're at that stage yet. Oh, is that movable? Yes, please be ammo. That's a plug. Uh, it means I can get ammo, which is good. Get your lock, can you? As I said on the last episode, I am kind of doing this at a different pace and a different way. So a lot of things are starting to catch me off guard because I'm, I usually don't do it this way. And I forget that it's about to happen. Got it. Oh god. <laughs> and it wasn't the window I was thinking of. Get off! Fucking run. Casual as you like. <laughs> How do I check my health? Equip and check your weapons, bullets, use and check your items. No idea. I mean, she's not slouched over, so I'm pretty sure she's fine. go up here. Down here. I get to where I need to go. Don't let me hear the tic tacs. Okay, looks like we're good. Hear what the boys are up to. What's the emergency? Gail just told me he saw someone on the underground monitor. It flashed by pretty quick, but I'm sure I saw something. Rick, open the shutter to the underground area. What is it? It's a distress signal from one of our team members. It must be Cooper. Yeah, or it might be Tom. He infiltrated this facility posing as one of the researchers. Can you pinpoint the signal? It's coming from outside of the building. To the east of the rear entrance we came in from. Look, we'll deal with it later. Our first priority is the survivor in the underground. It could be the doc. What are you talking about? He's asking for our help. We don't leave our own behind. And what if it's a trap? Would you want one of us to come and rescue you? Don't bother. I'm willing to take that risk. Remember our mission. We're not here to babysit. That's your way of operating, not mine. All right, you have your access to the underground, Gale, so get moving. You handle your things your way, I'll handle my things my way. Love how the graphics makes it look like he has an eyebrow going up and down. That punk is really starting to get on my nerves. Regina, I'm heading out to investigate the underground. So this is where the game gives you a choice. A branching path. You can either go with Gale or Rick. Now usually I go with Rick and rescue the comrade. However, I want to do things a little bit differently and 
Regina is a kind of uh, job, jobs a job situation, and Gail is the commanding officer in this. So we're going to go Gail. I might regret that later. Considering I have no ammo. Oh, the music's changed. Okay, like, we're gonna see if we can make, um... Some... Weapons, or s of some sort. So, if we put, uh, hemostat... And aid. Ah, no, 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 not that. Need and dart, and set of dart. Yeah, some pretty potent darts. Okay, that's giving me quite a few darts, which is good. And then we've got Hemostat, Hemostat. I don't need that many Hemostats on me, actually, so let's um, move some of those. Yeah. Oh, the controls in this game. Move that in there. Got two recoveries, but two resuscitations some bullets I don't need actually I've got three I don't need that many medium medipack resuscitation two hemostats and an aid that has to be mixed with something but that's fine okay so now at least I think I can equip that with the darts so I've got a little bit more to play with. And the good thing is, it's like almost an instant sleep. Like, they're done. Medical room hallway. Okay, so this is completely different to where I usually go. Some blood. So I kind of feel like it's uncharted waters. I've mixed up for myself. These little bastards. God, they're so irritating. Just ignore them. They're so annoying. Oh, I think this is a save area. I wonder if it has any bullets for me. Tap X. The card data may be overwritten when facility personnel changes occur. My ID card now. It's a memo that seems to have been addressed to the doctor on duty. Will you read the memo? Yes. Dr. Sherwood, the ID card on the desk belongs to one of my patients. Please hand it to Colonel Clay when he shows up. He told me that he was going to hold a meeting in the strategy room on the first floor to make the preparations for tonight's experiment. Please make sure to hand the card to him since he's required to enter the strategy room. Cool, we got a strategy room card. What does this say? Nothing? Oh, okay. Ah! <gasps> Are you bullets? Of course not. We're in the medical wing. Of course it's not bullets. Nothing looks useful. We've got a couple of boxes here. You need small keys for the... Okay. Alright, well I guess there's not much else in this room. On this desk. It's a computer terminal that can access researchers data. Nothing looks useful. Oh, speak yourself. Another plug? Good. Yes, I will save. Save a different slot this time. Save complete. Is that a ghost again? You hate it when you sit down and you realise you've been sitting on your wallet for 20 minutes. Ass goes numb. See you later. Fortunately, they're pretty slow and easy to move around. 
Hey, Gail. Doctor Kirk. Hey, wait. Indiana Jones. Okay, so I know where the elevator is. That's fine. Every time, get off me! Run to save myself. Am I bleeding? No. Okay. Carrying out room. Basement one. Is ammo here? Yeah. Sure, the dots are good. Yeah. I guess I can mix some more. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I've got a bunch of dollars now, good. What the hell? The dead man has a memo. Will we read the memo? Yes. Today, Stu, prepare the DDKs needed to enter the laboratory area. Tomorrow I have to go to the computer room to do maintenance on Dr. Kirk's computer, because he's an idiot and can't work Excel. But I think I left a DDK in the large size elevator control room when I went there yesterday to do the elevator maintenance. I'll have to check it later today. As for the other DDK, I think the rookie t guy Tom, who's recently assigned to the laboratory area, has it. I'll have to borrow it from him. I have no idea what that jerk appro approached Dr. Kirk. But he seems to have gained his complete trust. It's weird how nobody knows his past history. Tom's our guy! Have you got anything on you? Oh, no. No. God, it's got eyeball popping out by the looks of it. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, and I don't think we can go any further. No, because the crates are in the way. Let's unlock now to the basement. Let's get back out. Oh, this thing's still dead. Just in case. God, I don't think I've got a map for this area. No, I don't. Still kind of filling it in. Door's been unlocked. This is a different area. Oh. Then the other ones to the generator? This one must be the generator room that I just went to. Okay. That's the way I want to go. For some reason, I think I vaguely remember a sequence there, but I'm just. We're calling it wrong.
excuse me while I get really confused at where I am again. So if I go back out, I'll get the save room. Yeah, okay. Doing this a bit backwards, I guess. Good chance to save it, though. Bloop, bloop. The atmosphere of this game still, still really gets me. Yeah, I can't, I can't recall how long it took me to get back from, like, return to this game when I stopped playing it, but I know it was a long time. I think I would have been, bit, like, four years later type thing. Hey, buddy. Nope. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm better just... A long time and even then like the scares in this game still got me like every day like every time I played it foreboding clicked is the input did you case this e what's this fuck see I didn't know that happened All right, give it a minute The music can stop. Fingerprint device. Yeah. He's gonna be out for a while, so it's fine. This tra <laughs> the music's just the terminal keeps track of the soldiers who are positioned in the facility. Okay. Is that it? Data file for an operation meeting. Will you read the file? Subject reinforcement of ID management. Earlier in the week, there was a case in which someone used the terminal that rewrites ID cards to gain unauthorized access. This person acquired the fingerprint data from the corpse of a staff member who died of the accident. He forged the dead man's ID by using the fingerprint data and entered the laboratory area by way of elevator. The problem is that the fingerprint collecting device can acquire usable fingerprint data, even from a corpse. Since we'll be having an experiment today, there will be many outsiders visiting the facility. When creating the ID cards for guests, keep a careful eye on the device. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, but... I kinda stole it. What are you gonna do, eh? Is this the... Toilet. Cause... You gotta go, you gotta go. No one seems to be inside. I'd be worried if there was. No one seems to be inside. Knock knock. Cleaning supplies are inside. Um, sure. Don't know where this leads. Piping check passageway. Oh, I think I do have an idea actually where this leads. Which should be fine, because I think that's where I need to go. I think it was designed in this way. Gosh, give me so many med packs, but I have no ammo! Lecture room. I mean, I don't need to be in here. I just wanted to run away from whatever the hell just happened. No. The fuck did you even come from? It's the one that's like stalking me. Where am I? Some there. Try and get my position. Uh, is it this way? Oh shit, one of them got back up. Elevator hall. 
think. Yeah, it's this guy. Uh, Fingerprint data has been collected. Okay, we're going to go here. Uh, nope, that's way. I really think those raptors are chasing me now because they keep running away from them. So they're like, I'm just going to jump into rooms now. Yeah. Night, night. Sleep tight. Initializing card rewriting sequence and our personal registration number. Ah, sorry guys, I'm gonna cheat for this just in just in the uh, idea of keeping this quite good uh, and for time. So we got, because I know I have got this number already. I just couldn't remember it off the top of my head. Five, eight, one, oh. Has been verified. Please enter your fingerprint data. Yes. Accessing the requested data. This, this bit took me forever in the original one. I mean, a long time. Researcher Paul Baker. Yes. Car data has been rewritten. Nice. Um. All righty. So we've got that. Um. I just realized that we have the code for the chief's room. I'm an idiot. So we're going to go back. We're going to get that. And obviously I have no ammo. Um, so we're going to try and run out of the office. Um, with the T-Rex trying to attack us. So let's do this, shall we? Give myself a little save state just in case, because I'm not going to load this all again. I do not want a repeat of Parasite Eve where I have to reload such an old file. Ugh. And the reason why we have the code is because the code is actually on the keys themselves. You just have to look it upside down. Durr. Yes. Key card L. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and run out of here. Otherwise, I am screwed if I can't run out of here. Oh, got to be kidding! All right. Okay. 
So the alternative to that is if you attack it, you can then um, like keep it away, you can just shoot at it, and then it backs off and then you can leave normally. Uh, but I don't have any ammo to shoot it and I'm pretty sure these um, sleeping darts wouldn't do a damn thing. So I have my key cards now. We're going to go to the office and we're going to go down the elevator and chase after Gale. Oh, it's not. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just not with it. I think there's a... Yeah, there is. Good, I can get some ammo from this thing. Yes! Oh, bullets! Thank you. The poison shotgun bullets, yes! I think I can... Poison dart. Darts for the shotgun. Kills an enemy in a single shot. I have two med packs. Four. Oh, Jesus. I don't need that many med packs. Take the intensifier and take the poison darts. Okay, let's go mix these up. Mix with the hemostat. Ah, uh, no. No. I thought the intensifier could up our... Switch to the handgun again. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's go down the elevator. Every time, like, seriously? I'm gonna be killed by cutscenes. Just in the interest of getting some peace and quiet here.
Okay, I'm injured, so... Okay, we're good now. Yes. DDK, electronic lock system, update, new level security, you'll need to be aware of the following, entering the password based on the key decoding part one. One, two, three, four. Okay. Cool. Sugar. Do that. Not bleeding. There we go. Can I open this? Nothing happened. Uh uh uh. Didn't say the magic word. Uh uh uh. Map is shown on the panel. You saved the map there. Yes! Can I move the back on the screen? Good. Oh, I better switch to my darts again. Okay, there's a couple of other areas I can go down here. Oh, but they're through the shutter. And I don't have both the DDKs because the other... I think this is forcing me to go Rick's option. Sugar, so I have to go that way. Ah, I should have just done it in the first place. I think that's because that is supposed to be the correct option. You're still supposed to not be as cold-hearted. It's out of order. It does not look like it can be repaired. You've used the card. Why is there such a cutscene? With the card, you have, can go up to the first level. Falls. So we have to go pay Rick uh, a visit. Because I'm an idiot and completely forgot. Wait, I don't see this way. This is the other way because I need to go up the main hallway. I said the only other person that has the DDK is Tom. Okay, now I'm lost. I've forgotten to do something. Let's look at my items. What items have I got? ID card, SC. Device card L card DD code disk E Where have I not been? I don't actually have a destination, so I can't get through that door at all.
Let's try upstairs. Jesus. Tears. Communication passage. No, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Why are you right there? There's nothing that's really there for you. I better not chase me in here. Okay, let's check the map again. So I can't get there because I know that's locked. I must have forgotten to pick something up. Because that way's all blocked off as well. Solar guide. Guides. I've got one of those old text based guides where people have got artwork and ASCII. <laughs> Best guides. Okay. No, it's not telling me. Management office hallway, yeah. Enter the strategy room. Only after the game started. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna trust this guide. It's saying go back to where the game started. So that's where I'm gonna go. I think you're supposed to be at an impasse here. Forcing you to just search around, look at things. Shit. Don't you dare get me. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> oh yeah, because there's another gate here. <laughs> Rick here. I found Tom. And? I was too late. He didn't make it. You did what you could. I'm back in the control room right now. I'm going to continue working on the system. Which is very odd, actually, because he would have had to have passed us, but sure. <laughs> sure, sure. So the other option is if you go the other way, obviously Tom is alive. You get to talk to him for a bit and find a little bit more information about a few things, but... Shit. Hey, buddy. Oh, they're coming over here. Ow! Slag bullets. Okay. Let's see what I can do about that. Let's uh, mix the intensifier with the recovery aid. Sure. Hemostat plus prevents loss of health due to bleeding. And now I can pick this up. Yeah. <laughs> How? 
I don't need the resuscitation just yet. I can stay there. Laters. Oh, God. Yeah. Is this where it picks me up? This is a pretty cool scene, actually. Mash the keys. Mash the keys. If you don't mash the keys, this goes really bad. Okay, I gotta go pick up my gun again. Oh shit, I walked into that. Got my shotgun back. Stick to the walls. Stick to the walls. Oh wait, I can't. Take it. Uh. Ow. Jesus. I guess I just used my last one. Alright, let's go see where Tom is. This should be where Tom is. Dead. Depot L, that's what I needed. A little blood trail here. There's Tom. Input. So I've got L, L, and E. Corpse of Tom, one of our comrades. He's lost a lot of blood before dying. Map. Will you save the map? Yes! Private stuff. Nothing useful. I'm not using the guide anymore. I am literally just walking around. Okay, so that... Is the way I'm supposed to go, actually. Okay, I'm still going to use the guide just to keep this way. Because my memory of this is now really fuzzy. It just reminds me of how long it's been since I played this game. Oh, I, I still don't have a gun equipped. Well done. Okay, there's that. Just got to kind of bob and weave. I'll leave you alone. God damn. Get up, Regina. Elevator power. Oh yeah, we need to get the elevator back up and running, don't we? This up the way. Do you want a crane card? Yeah, boy. I think I was stuck here for days, just trying to get this working out right the first time. God almighty, it's such a simple thing as well. 
Red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. Like, it just makes so much sense. I don't know why you would have such a strange contraption anyway. Like, why would you ever need to remove it? Yeah. Some games are best not looked into. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no point in even trying to fight these things, because they're just a waste of ammo. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Hmm, got power. Scale devices outside the facility it appears to be used to record the status of the use of the big elevators as well as the landing department of the hill. Cool. Is that the same over here? So the elevator is now working, which is good. Machine to save data that has been processed at the computer terminals. Okay. Gotta keep pressing circle to run. Power save. Okay, well, I'm going to check out this door opposite. I don't know if I can get through here yet. Looks like a small area over there. Not responding. Okay. It's quiet. longest time I thought I was going to be stuck in this thing with a T-Rex because it was so big it's like no no I don't know what I'm going to do I'm going to have to fight it We've actually already been in this room. <laughs> yeah. That's Regina. Everything's just such a pain. Like, oh my god. I don't know if I can use that stuff. Looks like an emergency hatch it can't be opened from this end. I can't remember what that's used for. But you know what? I'm going to have to cut this episode here and we'll pick it up in the next episode. Um, I know I'm not at the save point, but I'm just going to be continuing to go a couple of episodes today. So, um, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait and see what happens next. Uh, but thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next episode.